Hey there everyone, I'm Mega from the Sky High VIP News and Current Affairs team. We specialize in the entire Asia-Pacific region and for this series, due to COVID-19 outbreak, Sky High VIP team including me are working from home. Now I will share a little on the recent outbreak of COVID-19 and how it has impacted the aviation industry. Countries across the globe are shut down their borders and limit domestic travel as a response to the COVID-19 outbreak. The cancellation of almost flights to control the spread of the virus has affected the entire airline industry globally. The International Air Transport Association, or IATA, projected a possible loss to the worldwide airline revenues is up to $113 billion in this year, which is one-fifth of the last year's overall revenues. As the first uh, epicenter country of COVID-19 outbreak, the Chinese carrier were hit hard at first. At the peak of the outbreak in mid-February, around 70% of flights were grounded, according to OIG travel data firm. KT Pacific, the airline that based in Hong Kong, has cut capacity by 65% in March and April, and anticipated more cuts in May, while Korean Air has slowed 80% of its schedule. American Airlines and Virgin Atlantic has started deploying their passenger aircraft to carry cargo, while well, EasyJet recently announced plans to ground its entire fleet and British Airways suspended all flights departing from its base at Gatwick Airport. Currently, most airlines are desperately trying to preserve cash. Besides cutting flights, many are asking for of forcing staff to take unpaid leave like American Airlines, EasyJet, and Emirates. According to IATA, the down of oil price would provide some relief for the many airlines, but it would not significantly reduce the loss caused by the plummeting demand for flight tickets due to COVID-19. Thank you for watching. I am Mega from Sky High VIP. I will see you on my next video.